With Android Auto, you can use many of your smartphone's functions and apps right through the vehicle's audio system. In this video, we'll cover some best practices to help you get optimal performance from the system. We'll look at some quick tips that will come in handy should you encounter any issues, and we'll close with some operation considerations. Let's start with the best practices. There are three to keep in mind. First, Make sure your Android smartphone is running the 5.0 Lollipop operating system or newer. It's always recommended to have the latest software available for your phone installed. Second, Android Auto and its related apps are constantly being improved, so make sure you have the latest versions installed on your phone. And third, adjust your phone's navigation settings to ensure optimal performance. Those are the best practices, but even if you adhere to them, there may be occasions when you experience issues. Here are a few quick tips if you happen to experience difficulties with Android Auto. Try one of the following. Disconnect and reconnect the phone, or force stop the app and restart it. Let's walk through each. To disconnect the phone, simply unplug it. Open the Android Auto app and select Forget All Cars. Then reconnect it. If all is well, Android Auto should restart. Force stopping and restarting the app is the other option. To do that, go into your phone settings, select the Application Manager, and select Android Auto. This will stop the application. Exit the settings screen and then open the app to restart. If all is well, once the vehicle has identified your phone, the Android Auto icon will appear on your home screen. If these options don't resolve the concern, try uninstalling and reinstalling the Android Auto app. Check the owner's materials that came with your vehicle for more information. Okay, we've looked at best practices and some quick tip procedures. Let's close out with some operation considerations. First of all, some apps such as music apps can be controlled through the buttons on the center stack and steering wheel, but that's not the case with all apps. If you use these controls and they're not supported by the Android Auto app, you'll get an alert message. In the same way, not all Android Auto apps can be controlled through voice recognition. For example, while you can use voice recognition to control Google Play Music, Spotify and iHeartRadio cannot be controlled through the voice commands. Also, if you have a large contact list, it may take longer for Android Auto to load and become available on the touchscreen. Even though your Android smartphone is plugged into your vehicle, it also uses Bluetooth wireless technology. If you already have the maximum five phones paired to the vehicle, you will need to remove one before Android Auto will function correctly. We cover Bluetooth wireless technology in a different video. Also keep in mind that because Android Auto runs on your smartphone, a weak signal can cause issues with apps that require a cell phone connection. If the Android Auto icon does not appear on the home screen, Check the USB cable and make sure it is not disconnected or damaged. If your Android phone has a car mode, make sure it's enabled. When Android Auto reads text aloud, it may read too slowly or too quickly. To remedy this, go to your phone settings menu and select text to speech. Here you can adjust the speed of the system's speech. In some cases, Android Auto may not automatically launch when the phone is plugged in and the Android Auto icon will not appear on the home screen. Sometimes this can be corrected on the phone. When you see this alert message on the phone, asking you to select an app to complete the action, make sure to select Android Auto and choose Always. When playing a music app such as Spotify or iHeartRadio, the music may not play, even though the screen shows that it is. If this happens, it can usually be fixed by switching to a different station and switching back. So keep these things in mind to get the best results from Android Auto. For more information, always check your Kia owner's manual or car multimedia system user's manual.